One company is taking to the skies with technology built for defense. Has the future of aviation already arrived? Or can this stock find new ways to reach new heights? Last December, we checked in with Air Environment. That's A-V-A-V. It's the maker of unmanned aircraft systems, think drones for the U.S. military and other purposes. At the time, the stock had caught fire, and there were some skeptics who doubted whether it could keep running. So we spoke to the CEO. He came right on here. He told a very compelling story. I bet those skeptics are kicking themselves now, because since that interview 10 months ago, this stock, it's doubled. And it just keeps roaring. Last week, Air Environment reported a blowout quarter that sent its shares surging from $87 to $99 in a single session. Now it's at $111. They delivered a monster 56 cent earnings beat off of a 29 cent basis. Can you believe that? Magnificent 127% revenue growth. Stunning increase in their gross margins, what they make after the cost of goods sold, 25% to 42%. Even better, management gave very strong guidance for the full year. It turns out the drone business is even hotter than we thought. So can the stock keep roaring? Let's take a closer look with why. Wahid Dawabi, he is the president and CEO of Aero Environment, to hear more about the quarter and where the company's head. Mr. Dawabi, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Wahid. Have Thank a seat. You. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you so much. Well, I've got to tell you, it's been spectacular. Uh, there was a time when some people questioned how you're doing, but it's pretty clear between the defense appropriations and some of these more commercial uses, this is a great time for your company. It's an exciting time. It's an exciting business, Jim, and we're very excited about the value creation opportunities of our business for both the defense markets as well as the commercial markets. Since I just met you last time, we have really repositioned the company right. uh, with the divestiture of EES and the uh, joint venture we formed with perhaps mobile with Joe Softbank Corporation. We're now a pure play unmanned systems company focused on four future defining technologies, right. uh, robotics, software analytics, highly sophisticated sensors, and connectivity. Oh, so in other words, uh, well, why don't you speak of it in terms of Blackwing, what that would do and uh, use it through that, sure. uh, that prism? So if you remember last time, we, you saw the switchblade, which is made for you know, lethal, lethality of uh, protecting our troops. Mm -hmm. Blackwing is a variant of switchblade that is primarily designed for submarine applications. So this would actually fit into one of the orifices of submarine, existing orifices. It's already in integrated with the command and control system of the submarine itself, so you don't have to carry a separate system with you. Okay. And with the push of a button, a submarine can launch this while it's submerged and the periscope level, and then it gives it visibility, eyes in the sky, essentially, far beyond what the periscope can see and without very little signature, with very little ability for the enemy or the adversaries to be able to find out. Okay, well, uh, how about if the enemy has drones? Well, all the drones are everywhere, as you know, yeah. but what we provide for our customers is very unique. We're unrivaled in the industry okay. in terms of what we provide and offer to our men and women in uniform as well as for the commercial markets. The ability to have these sophisticated sensors reliability, mm -hmm. ruggedness, small packaging, integrated systems and solution, all of that is exactly what we, we have been doing for decades. And, and, and we are unrivaled in that space. And you just got, uh, there's a big appropriations bill, 113 million in the budget. I mean, obviously, uh, this is something that President Trump has clearly favored when it comes to military. Uh, we believe that, we've always believed in the, in the p potential of our businesses in general, but now, I think after the several years of sequestration, mm -hmm. the U.S. government has realized that we need to really invest and upgrade our systems within our U.S. US DOD forces. And so we represent 86% plus of the U.S. DOD's drones by inventory. Wow. As a oh. company. So we're unrivaled in the space. And we invented these categories, and it comes from the decades of innovation that our engineers and scientists have put into these efforts of these solutions that we launched to the market. Okay, well, let me ask you about the, uh, like the EV charging. When you were on last, you talked about it represents a significant large multi-billion dollar opportunity. You were the leading global provider of EV charging solutions. It just, just didn't work out? No, actually, it wasn't that, Jim. Jim but the, re the, real, the real reason for that was that we wanted to focus on the highest ROI opportunities okay. for our shareholders and for our business and our stakeholders. And after several reviews, we realized that we need to focus on things that we believe has the highest return for our investors long term. Okay. And that's why, and we still believe that but, but it's no longer, I mean, you're, you're obviously course, your margins went up. Business. I figured the margins would go up in part because you are no longer in that business. The soft bank relationship, what will that give you? So we formed a joint venture with SoftBank Corporation to pursue the business of 5G and IoT globally. Okay. 
And what we are going to be doing in this first, in this phase of this uh, joint venture is to develop and demonstrate a stratospheric airplane that is powered 100% by solar, uh, solar power energy. Good. And it's going to fly on the edge of the atmosphere. And our, our environment has decades of expertise here. And it's going to beam 5G IoT connectivity for the 7 billion people around the world. Wow. That's that true. is, think of it, Jim, as a super cell, t cell tower up in right. the stratosphere and providing connectivity for everybody that needs it. Well, I mean, they, you could have hundreds of those. Well, the world is pretty large, as right, you know, right. and <laughs> we could be flying this, of course. And we're really focused right now on this phase of the development, which is to develop and demonstrate right. this capability. Air environment has a very rich and deep history there. We've already flown. In fact, we have the world altitude record at over 96,000 feet with a solar-powered airplane that we did almost a de decade and a half ago. Okay, so how about fires? How about the hurricane in, in South Carolina? What, what can first responders use? What emergency personnel? So we've always believed and we continue to believe that our systems and solutions, the way they're made, the Puma all environment, like you can fly it in thunderstorms, you can fly it in rain, you can dunk it in water and fly it back again, is, is really well positioned for the types of application that we hear about to these days. In fact, Hurricane Katrina, our drones were used after the aftermath in terms of the search and rescue missions that were there. Fires in California and the West Coast. Our systems are made for those types of really, really mission-critical, rugged applications. At the same time, a lot of our allies are buying yours. I know that, that the president has said, look, we want you guys to, to spend more. For instance, in NATO, Germany just made a big order. Portugal just gave you a big order. That was today's news, absolutely. Right. We announced a press release to do today that we won an a important contract with the Portuguese army for our Raven systems. Now, international customers represent... Uh, over $100 million worth of our business wow. that we've announced last fiscal year. And the number of countries now have grown over 45 different countries and allied nations around the world, wow. depending okay. on our solution. Now, uh, agriculture, uh, I know we have... Um uh, olive garden. It, it's hard to check each tree. I can only imagine what it must be. We were thinking about getting a drone. What it must be for uh, when you have thousands of acres. I mean, it would seem to be a natural application. So I believe, Jim, that similar to what we have done in the defense space in terms of our solutions for the men and women in uniform in our 45 plus allied nations, Quantix and AVDSS that you just firsthand right. experienced is a game changer for the commercial markets and initially focused on the agriculture industry. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, the whole system is a great example of robotics, software analytics, sensors, and connectivity. Well, Incredible. I've, I've got to tell you, since we've seen you last, it just gets better and better, and the people who bet against you, wow, that's nasty. What happened to them? All right, that's Wahid Nawabi, president and CEO of Air Environment. This is an amazing story. We said it last time, right in the teeth of people who told us, you're wrong. I say it again right now. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.